Hello everybody, I am Heather with GetFitGoFigure.com. I'm at the end of week seven of my contest prep. I'll be doing bikini divisions in the fall, October 2016. And um, this week was particularly busy. We finished up my mom's moving sale, which was a huge job, and I'm thankful for that to be over. And we celebrated. <laughs> Um, I hit a new low, 139.2, <laughs> so that was fabulous. And um, then we traveled to Austin, Texas for the Paleo FX conference. Stay tuned for more on that. But that was um, really fun. But traveling when you're in contest prep is always a challenge, and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But when things get really stressful, you know, like this week in particular with uh, helping my mom with her estate sale and traveling, you know, and, and you're tired and stressed out, positive self-talk becomes such an important tool. I discovered back in high school when I was swimming, I was always a sprinter through high school and college, and I was always put in the 100-meter sprint, which was my least favorite event. It was a very long sprint four times um, down and back in the pool. And one particular swim meet, I was once again put in a 100 meter sprint. I decided I was gonna tell myself that I loved to swim this event. I was going to do amazing, I was gonna win. This was my favorite event ever. And when we got to the swim meet and, I, and we're near my race, I actually found that I was looking forward to doing this race. And then I was inadvertently scratched from that race and put into a different event to fill in, and I was really disappointed. And that's when I discovered how important positive self-talk was, and, um, and I, I've been trying to do ever since. It doesn't always happen. I'm not perfect. I'm human. But, you know, this week in particular with everything going on, and I was really exhausted. I didn't really feel like working out or eating right or sticking to my diet, but I had to tell myself, I was going to crush my workout. I'm going to love my workout. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to stick to my diet. I'm not going to lose a day of weight loss as that is my goal. And, you know, it works. It's really, really a big tool and a daily game changer. So, you know, a lot of things are mental. You know, sports, life, whatever, whatever mindset you choose to go at your day, it's in your head. And it's, and it's can be challenging to live by, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. So with that positive self-talk, some other things that help me get my day started is my protein coffee. Happy hump day. I just dropped my son off at the school bus and I'm just enjoying my protein coffee. Protein coffee is my go-to morning drink, but you have to remember to dissolve that protein in a little bit of water before adding your coffee. Otherwise, you're going to be in clump city. Gross. Other things I like to add to my coffee in the morning is like a tablespoon of brain octane oil as long as it fits my macros because it won't closer to October. And then a little bit of this chocolate stevia. It is really good. Adds a nice flavor. I love my coffee. Some recipes I tried out this week or are some of my favorite recipes um, for breakfast. I really have been enjoying uh, having my egg yolk and egg whites and first sauteing some peppers and onions, put a little laughing cow cheese in with the eggs, and then topping that with Mrs. Dash, and uh, even putting a little salsa or maybe some tomatoes on there, some avocados on the side, really tasty. I've been making these sandwich wraps that have been really good, Some take some low carb wraps, and put in some chicken or turkey or tuna, top that with a little Bolt House Farm cilantro avocado dressing, Add some guacamole or avocados, uh, some lettuce, and then some of that Mrs. Dash Chipotle seasoning. Really good, really, really good. And then I tried the macro experiment high protein bread. I'm about to make me some protein bread. This looks amazing. Stay tuned. In 
the video of the macro experiment, she says this bread is like a warm hug. So if I bite into this, it better be like getting awesome hugs. All right, moment of truth. We're going to give this a try. Not really sure it's like a warm hug, but definitely worth the effort. I did use gluten-free flour, and I think it came out a little bit heavier than um, it should have, but it was still pretty tasty. The whole bread is not the macros that is stated at the beginning of her video, so you have to weigh that whole thing out and calculate the macros. So at the end of the week, we traveled to Austin, Texas, Paleo FX Conference. Traveling on contest prep is challenging as hell because a lot of times when you're traveling with other people, you've also got to consider their schedules, the schedule of the event you're going to, and you know the food that will be available. I like to travel with this little mini scale, and it allows me to be able to weigh my food, and you know what, it, it actually has a maximum, so I sometimes have to weigh my food out in sections, but it beats traveling with my larger food scale, and I'm afraid that larger food scale will break upon transit. So I travel with this little mini one and just kind of work with it. I always travel, I put all my supplements in here, an AM and PM. Some vitamins I take in the morning, some I take at night, like magnesium I always take at night, multivitamin I always take in the morning, krill oil or fish oil I take at night, um, and so that's helpful to stay really organized. For travel snacks, it's got to stay easy when you're on the plane. Uh, I really just like to bring turkey or chicken jerky because they're low in fat. Um, Epic bars are another one of my favorite. They are mostly kind of a whole food protein bar. Quest Nutrition Bars I really like because they're gluten-free and sweetened with erythritol and not sucralose. Another kind of easy carb source, I like to bring these uh, little rice cakes, the mini popped ones, or even fruit or veggies. You can also pack meals in a cooler and bring those on the plane and just eat your food cold. That is probably the healthiest suggestion if you're eating all whole foods as well. Uh, eating cold foods isn't my favorite option, but if it's a short plane ride, you know, just things like this for kind of quick carb or protein sources to keep you sane. If you're traveling for only the weekend, some people will pack meals for the whole weekend, bring them in a bag called a six pack bag, if that's a brand. I've never used it myself but they're pretty convenient for, uh, it's a pretty convenient little cooler bag for carrying meals with you. I don't do that. When we travel, we always make sure we have a kitchen in our hotel or we rent a VRBO, vacationrentalbyowner.com. And there's usually a full kitchen, so we'll hit up a Whole Foods or a grocery store first thing. It's the first thing we do when we get off the plane. Get some vegetables, um, some good meats, and things that we can cook and prepare at our uh, place that we're staying. But if you're not prepping ahead of time is really, really important when you're in contest prep. Making sure you have a place to work out. Our VRBO apartment slash condo had a really nice workout room, but we were also at a Paleo FX conference where there are a lot of movement classes for kettlebells, maces, primal movement, uh, a fit test where I had to do a lot of deadlifts in a two minute time frame. You'll see that. I got a lot of workout in more than I would have normally. So that worked out just fine for me. But before we travel on the plane, we take a little flight stack, and that includes glutathione, chlorella, astaxanthin, CoQ10, and a little baby aspirin. Um, the reason we take all of those is that when you are flying, you're exposed to a lot of radiation throughout flight time, as well as the x-rays that you are going through in and out of security. You're also exposed to um, increased sun exposure through the windows because you're so high up in the air and that sun exposure um, does affect you at that altitude when those windows are open. So most of these things are all antioxidants, glutathione, chlorella, astaxanthin, and CoQ10. They help boost your immune system and detoxify from heavy metals and radiation particles that might be um, going through your body. Helps you helps fight against cell damage from all that traveling. 
And the baby aspirin is to kind of help keep your blood a little bit thinner to prevent blood clots as you're sitting a lot. When you're on a plane, you really want to make sure that you stand up every so often, move your legs around. It's really important because sitting for those long amounts of time in cramped spaces can cause blood clots in your legs, which can be very serious. So <clears throat> stay tuned for the Paleo FX conference video. There's a lot of fun stuff going on, tons of really cool products and supplements for your health and well-being. And until next time.